Hi, my name is Amelda Jimenez Lamar, and I'm a product photography coach helping handmade sellers learn how to shoot product photos as online. And today I wanted to ask you a question. <laughs> if you were to look at your product photos, do they look like they would belong on Etsy or do they look like they would belong on Facebook Marketplace? And I want you to be really honest because I have seen a number of Etsy shops where I'm scrolling through their photos and I, I get Facebook Marketplace Craigslist vibes. But the price, sometimes the prices are like, you know, in par with, on par with, with those websites. But I, I don't go to Etsy to, and I would say a lot of people don't go to Etsy and think, I want to get, you know, photos that look like they belong on on Facebook Marketplace or that I'm looking for a bargain, right? For the most part, people don't go to Etsy for, for bargains, right? They think for quality handmade products, right? Things that are unique that are from around the world. But if you're going to Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, yeah, you're thinking, I want a bargain. I want to pay the least amount of money for, for something. Or the seller is basically, I just want to get this out of my house, right? And get some money for it. So those photos are going to be totally different because you're going to be marketing to totally different people. If you're trying to sell something quickly and just want to get it out, you, you don't have to pay attention too much to how you're photographing your product, right? You just need the basics, right? But if you're photographing for Etsy and a customer on there, then you need to put some work into it. You need to, you know, think about lighting, think about your backgrounds, think about the angles that you're photographing your product and so on. And you need to make sure that your photos are crisp and clear and you can see your product. So I would really encourage you to do a look through your product photos and make sure that they don't they don't look like they belong on, you know, Facebook and Craigslist and that you are not photographing for that type of customer for that audience, but that you're photographing for the audience that wants to buy a handmade, who's willing to spend the money for a handmade, you know, one of a kind product. So that is my little tip for you this week. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon. Bye.